How would I go about fighting chaos? You cannot fight chaos. It is not so simple. To oppose chaos, one must return order to that which has been affected by chaos, and thus reduce its powers. But this is not something everyone can do. Only those ordained by the balance can embark on such a dangerous task and survive. You don't know where I may find these dry kin? No, the white of the dry kin, the mother, has, according to legend, been cited. The tale of the silver spear of Gorimon speaks of the mother and her child. Though I think this is but a tale, and far from the truth. The story is called the silver spear of Gorimon? Yes, unfortunately I do not have this book myself, and I do not know of anyone who does. What about the other dragon, the other dry kin? Of the dry kin, I only know of the mother, the white of the kin, although I have heard tell of a god who fell from the sky into the ocean a great long time ago. But this may also be just a tale. What else do you know about this god who fell from the sky? Only what I have told you. Someone with greater knowledge of the ocean and the creatures that live beneath its surface may be able to tell you more. That's about it for now. I am glad I could be of assistance, April Ryan. Thanks for your hospitality, Obnoxus. Goodbye. Blessings of the balance to you, April Ryan. And may your journey have been a long and fruitful one. yesterday. I wasn't around. Sorry. Well, there are more maps to be delivered and my customers are getting very impatient. Did you deliver the map to the rolling man? Yes, sir. All right. Let me see his signature and I'll give you your next delivery. Here's your next delivery, a map of the Northlands to a ton Lyak, staying at the Journeyman Inn. And be quick about it. She's been waiting since the day before yesterday. Excuse me? Yes? Oh, it is you. I'm looking for a guest of yours, Tun Lyak. The sailor? She is looking for work today, I'm afraid. With most of the ships moored to the docks for balance knows how long, it is difficult for sailors to find work. Do you know when Tun Lyak is expected back? I could not tell you, child, but from what I know of the ships in harbor, she will not find one that needs a navigator any time soon. Thank you, ma'am. You're welcome, child. The old man and the, uh, ocean? 
Looks like a lifetime at sea has left his tracks on him. Better a lifetime at sea than a day in a dress and a brazier. Hello, old man. I got me no treasure, and I got me no map of no buried treasure. I just be an old sailor with no ship, so leave us be. What are you doing? Mending nets, of course. What it look like I be doing? I'm not well versed in maritime customs. Mar what? Ah, yes, mean sea life, dear not. Ah, the smell of the salty sea, the lapping of waves on your ship, the spray of cold water on your face, plump maidens in every part. I, I tell yous, I be having stories about the sea. What have you got in that chest? What chest? The one you're sitting on. Oh, that be no chest, girl. That be me stool. I me stool, carved into the uncanny likeness of a chest. But what's in it? No priceless treasure, that be for sure. Nothing, nothing at all. It be empty. No, really. What's in the chest? Oh, live snakes. Aye, snakes that'll bite your face off before you have time to jump. Better leave them be, then. I'm still curious about that chest. Right, right. I be telling yous, curse the balance, girl. You never give up, do you? I be having no real treasure in here, like I told ye, but it be where I keep me personal articles, and things I be picking up now and then on me travels. And me bed, it's where I be keeping me bed before I be losing him. I be a stupid, stupid old man, he be my best friend. I ain't nobody else around to talk to, you see, on account of him being a talking bird. What happened to your talking bird? I be... it cheated out of him. I, that cups handler on the marketplace, be cheating me in a full game of cups, and I be having to give me bird up to try to win me money back. And what happened? He be taking me bird when I be choosing the wrong cup. I, my best friend, taken from me. Cursed to be the balance. I be all lonesome now. The worst part is that... Me bird is now a prize to be won. A prize in the cups game. Beat the handler thrice and you win a prize of your choice, me poor bird. What's your bird's name? Bird. Oh. Care to share some of your maritime stories with me? Matter what? Ah, tales of the sea, right? Sure, sweetie, I be... Happy to. Now what stories be I wanted to hear then? Have you heard a story about a god who fell from the sky into the sea? Aye, that I be having. Although that be a story of man-eating mermen who ravaged the sea of songs, swallowing sailors whole and spitting their bones out to dry. Are you sure you be up for hearing such a cruel tale? I've heard worse. Uh, ye be a tough little lady, be you not? All right. Well, like I be telling yous, the sea of song surrounding the island kingdom of Gien be a treacherous sea where countless vessels have disappeared without a trace. Now, this be near thirty long winters ago, mind. During me second term as captain of the trader, Rocky Lady. We've been crossing the Sea of Songs for two seasons. And we've yet to be seeing any sign of the dreaded bloodthirsty merman who lurk in the waters off the Guyen coast. That night we be laying still with our sails down, 
awaiting the wind to pick up and carry us north to Mercuria, when we be hearing a frightful scream coming from the port side of the Lady Luck. I be the first to rush over and account of me having me arm down the apple barrel. We just been to Eras to pick up one hundred barrels of sweet Guyenne apples. And as luck would have it, I be there just in time to witness Sally Barney's horrible fate. He be in the water, screaming and waving his arms, and the water around him be red as a midwife's arms after a grueling bath. I get the picture. Go on. Then I be seeing, I glimpse a large, shiny, sleek body be pulling Sally down and swallow him whole. It be the merman come to claim the body of the sailor who dare cross their sea. Are you sure it wasn't a shark? What? Big fish with sharp teeth and dead black eyes and a large triangular fin on top. Ye mean a black-eyed snapjaw? I guess it could have been, but it be no snapjaw. It be the dreaded merman of the Sea of Songs. Where does the sea god fit into all of this? I, I be coming to that. You see, the bloodthirsty merman. Be not only happy with cannibalizing sailors, but they be sacrificing their own to their dark old sea god. Actually, unless the mermen are human, they wouldn't really be cannibals if they ate humans. Blood sacrifices to their dreaded god who lives on the bottom of the sea. Ay, that be the truth of the mermen, fierce and bloodthirsty cannibals of the Sea of Songs. Uh, thanks. Good story. I. I'm all storied out for now. Thanks. I. You tell me when you want more, right? I'd better get going. Ah, you younguns all be always running round. Everything be so important. He's been having no time to sit down and take a breath. So go. Be not wasting your time here with me. It's Captain Horatio Nebeve of the White Dragon. Nice day for it. Not really, no. Do you know anything about a god that fell from the sky into the sea? Of course. You find fallen gods most everywhere these days. They're an air and a hand. Really? No, of course not. There are no fallen gods in the sea. It wouldn't make much sense, would it? If the sea was full of gods just lying about the seabed. So you've never heard of such a thing happening? Now you got it. Did you ever hear of the merman of the Sea of Songs? You mean the bloodthirsty cannibal merman of the Sea of Songs? That's it. Never heard of him. Are you sure you've never heard of the Merman of the Sea of Songs? Be quiet. Shh. Not so loud. What's up with the shushing? Legend says that if you speak openly of the bloodthirsty cannibal Merman of the Sea of Songs, they will hunt you down until they've caught you and devoured you. And you believe this legend? No, I'm just trying to scare you off. Thanks for the chat. Aye. Good morning, Tobias. 